60 years ago, synthetic chemicals were a futuristic novelty. Since that time, the chemical industry has developed more than 90,000 man-made compounds, and the vast majority of them have never been tested for their effects on human beings. These chemicals are found in virtually every consumer product. Chemicals like bisphenol A make plastics hard and unbreakable. Other chemicals called phthalates make plastics soft and pliable. Chemicals make cosmetics smell fresh and fragrant. They make our fabrics stain resistant and our computers flame resistant. But have we unleashed a monster? Some common chemicals are causing profound and permanent damage to growing bodies. And for reasons we are just beginning to understand, some synthetic chemicals are far more damaging to boys. I feel that every child should be able to live up to their innate potential, whatever it may be. But we're taking that away from them. We're taking that away from our kids. Young adult men are also at risk. Sperm counts in college-age men have fallen dramatically in recent decades. A typical young man produces less than half of the sperm his father did, and up to 85% of it is abnormal. In a fertility clinic at the University of Rochester, researchers are tracking the crisis in the quality of male sperm. This change in the quality and amount of sperm has been sudden and dramatic. I've been here 12 years, and when I first started, of the 10 donors we would screen, we would accept maybe seven or eight. They had really good counts, really good motility. Over time, it got harder and harder to recruit donors because we noticed of that same college age population that of 10 people who would try out for our program, maybe three or four would have the sperm parameters that we need. The bottom line is that the World Health Organization standards for classifying a man as infertile have moved downwards. So for example, very early it was 60 million per milliliter, then down to 40 million per milliliter, now it's 20 million per milliliter, and they're talking about putting it down to 10. And that's because if a man goes in for a semen analysis, that you can't have too many of them classified as abnormal.